Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a very special collaboration with some of my very amazing and talented doll friends. We are going to be making so many fantasy creatures for you guys. So make sure to check out their videos and I will give the link to their channels in the description box below. In this video, I decided to make a succubus demon fairy. Demons are just so perfect and I really really like them. And I already made a demon fairy for my Halloween and I think that she become very popular and I just have to make a sister for her. So in this video, I'm going to be making a sister demon fairy. So let's get start working on our video. So for this repaint, I'm going to be using a Gulia head and also Operita's body. And I think that both of them are in very bad condition. And I think that this is the perfect candidate for this repaint video. Then I'm just taking my two part epoxy sculpt and just taking similar amount of epoxy with both of the tubs. And then I'm just mixing both of them together. And then I will be starting my sculpting process. I think that I just love working with epoxy because you just have so much more time to add details to your project and add a lot more details and you can also make figurines, use it in your dolls and so much more things. And now I'm just taking a small piece of epoxy and just starting sculpting the doll feet. I want to give her a very dragon kind of feed because she's going to be a demon dragon breed fairy. So she just have to have a very very long and very very elongated nails and very long feet. And once both of the feet are all done and all dry out, then I'm just taking my Dremel and starting sanding the doll ears and also her horns and also her feet. I think that sanding is very important when it comes to epoxy or any other clay because sanding can make everything just so seamless and it will look very very amazing. So make sure if you ever work with epoxy then make sure to sand it very well so it can look very very amazing. And now the sanding part is all done. And now it's time for the most fun part in my this video. And this is also so much painful and takes so much long time. But I really really enjoy changing doll skin tones. And I think that I really really love this part in this video. So I just mix some acrylic paints and the airbrush. And now I'm just starting repainting the doll face and also changing the skin tone of my doll and I'm so much excited. So guys, if you wanted to know that which kind of colors I use in this airbrush, I just use some normal kind of acrylic paint and mix some water in it and also add a bit of Liquitex matte varnish to matte the colors and it will work very amazing so if you are ever working with your airbrush and you don't have the high branded colors so you just use your normal acrylic paints and make sure to add a bit of Liquitex matte varnish so your colors will not stay very shiny and I think that now I just have to run 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 and I'm just taking this for drying in the sun and then once it's fully dry then I just take it inside my home and then starting working on the doll again. So now I'm just finally back to my studio and I'm just taking my airbrush again and just starting airbrushing the doll one more time. Make sure to build as much layers as you can because layer is the key. If you build so many layers then the dolls will look so much amazing and I build maybe 7 to 8 layers in this doll and I think that it's not too much but the colors are just so opaque and vibrant and I'm just so much happy with the result. Thank you. 
Then once the colors is all dry, then I'm just taking my black color of acrylic paint and my airbrush and starting adding colors to the tips of the doll feet and also her hands and horns. And blacks just took one layer to become very opaque, so I just give it one coat of black colors to the doll feet, horns, and also her hands. And now all the airbrushing is all done. I just give it two coats of Liquitex matte varnish to the doll body, and then I'm just starting my blushing. And I think that blushing is one of my very favorite part in dolls and it makes the dolls just so much realistic. So I'm just adding so much blushing all over the doll body to make it just so perfect. So for the blushing, I'm just only using black and some gray colors. In the meantime, when I was doing this blushing, I also added some blushing to the doll lips and also added some blushing to the doll cheekbones. And then give it about two coats of your matte varnish and then the doll blushing would be all done. And now it's time for the most fun and the most easiest part in this repaint video, which is the doll face up. So I just take my watercolor pencil, soft pastels and makeup brushes and starting sketching the doll eyes. Then using my tiniest brush I starting making the doll eyebrows. So this time I decided to use only acrylic paints because I think that acrylic paints will work very well on the paint surface and I think that watercolor pencils will not work very well on the paint surface. So I just take my tiniest brush and my white color of acrylic paint and starting painting the doll eyes. So for the irises I decided to go with yellow color because her little sister is also having yellow eyes so she also deserves to have yellow eyes. So I decided to give her a very evil kind of look and add a lot of dark colors to her eyes and also add darker makeup because she's going to be the elder sister and the other demon which I made for my Halloween she is going to be the little sister. I also added some orange colors to the doll eyes and also a bit of yellow colors to add a bit of more realism and more dimension to the doll face and at last I also give some black freckles to the doll face and add some eye shines and the doll face up is all done. Now look at the doll. I also added some tattoo at the back of the doll, added panties to the doll and I also added a core of high gloss varnish to the doll to make her skin a bit shiny. Now it's time to work on the doll outfit. So I got these flowers from a local craft store and now I'm just adding some black gradient to all of the flower petals and then I'm just taking this butterfly and simply painted it black. Make sure to build the layers again and again to make the colors very opaque and vibrant. I wait for about 2 to 3 hours to make all of these pieces dry but when I come and the deadline is nearly very very near so I decided to take a hair dryer and dry all of these petals and now they are ready to work with. So now I'm just arranging all of them together and then I'm just taking a scissors and make a circle in the center of the petals. And now I'm just wearing them directly to the doll. And once the doll outfit is all done, then I'm just taking my hot glue gun and adding a lot of details to the doll outfit. So now I'm just taking this butterfly and just adding glue to it. And then I'm just taking this Born Pretty Glitter which is sent to me by Monster High Guy. Thank you so much Adrian for sending me this amazing glitter. I will give the link to his channel in the description box below. And I'm just adding all of this glitter to the butterfly to make it so much sparkly. 
now it's time to work on the doll hair so actually this hair is sent to me by luna and stella dolls on instagram please make sure to follow her on her instagram i will give the link to her instagram in the description box below thank you so much kim for sending me so many amazing hair i really really enjoy working on all of them So now the process is just so simple, just take your hot glue gun and starting adding whiff to the doll head. Last I'm just taking a piece of hair and just adding it to the front part of the doll hair and then the doll hair is all done. Last I'm just adding this butterfly to the doll, attaching her hands, adding this potion bottle to the doll and then I'm just taking this bond pretty glitter one more time and adding this directly to the doll outfit. For the final detail I also added a book to the doll which I made earlier and then the doll is all done. I'm just so much happy that how she turned out and I really really like her skin tone and I just love both of these dolls so much so if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like this video share this video and also follow me on my instagram and make sure that this doll is available for sale so if you are interested in her then please let me know in the comments and i will see you guys very soon with a very very amazing video goodbye